Emergency lights and caution tape blocked off the Royal Park Bridge. Police say a woman was walking her bike across the drawbridge. That's when she fell through a gap in the road. Uh, the woman tried to hang on. There was a bystander nearby who tried to help her, uh, but tragically she fell about five to six stories below where she died uh, landing on concrete. Palm Beach police say the woman was 10 feet from the end of the bridge when it started lifting. There is a bridge tender, and that bridge tender has certain safety protocols to follow, specific safety protocols. Uh, that includes lowering of the gates for the vehicles, lowering of the gates for the pedestrians, and making several visual confirmations that there is nobody on either of the spans or past those gates. While police look into what went wrong, bicycle safety advocates like Juan Oriana says the Royal Park Bridge is highly trafficked. Palm Beach is accessible only through three bridges, and this is the main bridge, so it is uh, very used by cyclists. Oriana says the bridge is equipped with barriers and bells, alerting people when the bridge is about to go up. For one thing, you will hear the bell before the, the, even the arms go down. Uh, so when you hear the bell, you like you got to get out of the way before the bridge goes up. West Palm Beach police say they are still investigating, but advocates urge everyone to be alert and aware. Always drive defensively. Always be aware of your surroundings. See what is going on, uh, because it, it it it's our life that we're playing with sometimes. Police tell me this is still an active investigation, and they will be going through surveillance video. As for the bridge, it was able to reopen after about six hours. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Joel Lopez, WPTV, News Channel 5. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.